In a world where Tom Hardy can't stop doing interesting voices. They're scared of us. Where Austin Butler continues to prove he was born in the wrong era. One man, or men, many men, there's a lot of men, will come together to do kind of nothing. Just hanging out, really. It's actually pretty cool. I kind of want to start a biker gang now. The Bike Riders. It's good. It's nice to meet some proper f***ups. Ah, nostalgia. A feeling that has been absolutely weaponized and oversaturated by a capitalist machine where anything can be packaged and sold for the right price. And nowhere is this more prevalent than in the entertainment industry with its unnecessary sequels or prequels, and its endless reboots upon reboots upon reboots. But what happens instead of the subject matter of the film being nostalgic, it's the way the film is made that is nostalgic. Well, you get Jeff Nichols' new film, The Bike Riders. This movie is very reminiscent of films made in the 90s, with its style of storytelling, cinematic direction, and overly talented cast. This movie would feel right at home next to The Shawshank Redemption, Goodwill Hunting, or What's Eating Gilbert Grape, where you have a film with a modest budget, but a director with experience and a clear direction. Story first. Story, story, story. I don't want to get in the way as a director. I, I don't want to show my fingerprints. I really want the story to come through first. Coupled with an extremely dedicated cast, creating a compelling snapshot of someone's life story. The Bike Riders is by far the best movie I've seen this year, so far. I don't even have a whole lot to say about it, so let's just get right into the ratings. For my highbrow critic score, I give The Bike Riders a 9 out of 10. And for my schmo score, the score for the average Joe Schmo, I give it an 8 out of 10. Now, this is the part where I usually say, if you want to watch the movie spoiler free, leave. But this time, I'm actually not going to really get into any spoilers, other than some vague overarching ideas. Still, if you would rather watch the film without any of that, which I completely understand and highly recommend, this is where we part ways. Thanks for showing up, and I hope you have a beautiful day. The Bike Riders is a film inspired by the photo book, The Bike Riders, created by Danny Leon a photographic journalist who, in the 1960s, spent time documenting and interviewing a Chicago motorcyclist club called The Outlaws. The film follows a fictional motorcycle club called The Vandals, incorporating real-life stories from The Outlaws. And the film acts the same as the book does, jumping around in time, going from Danny's own personal accounts to interviews of members going over past events. Now, the reason I gave this movie a lower schmo score is because, well, I don't think it's a secret that the average Joe's attention span these days is not good. And this film is not an epic adventure or a mind-blowing origin story. In fact, they barely touch on how the club gets started or how it really ends. It's quite literally a snapshot of these club members' lives during the 1960s. It's a compelling drama looking into the lives and culture of these men, men who are considered outcasts and villains by society. But are they really just violent thugs looking for power? Or are they misunderstood casualties of a war-torn country who are just looking for a place to belong? This film is full of intrigue and suspense. It kind of felt like knowing a car crash was going to happen, but not knowing when or how devastating it was going to be. And with a runtime of just under two hours, I was fully engaged the entire time, thanks to its stellar writing and editing. And of course, the acting. It's a regular who's who of a star-studded cast, and they all brought their A-game to this one. It was fantastic. 
I really don't have any negative critiques other than there's a few scenes here and there that you could have cut if you wanted to save on the runtime, which I usually recommend you do. And like I said, this film is based on real events. And I know there's going to be some people who are personally not going to be satisfied with the ending, but I mean, <laughs> that's life. And sure, they could have just made up a proper Hollywood ending and given it a nice little bow, but they decided to go with more of what really happened to the outlaws. And I personally think the movie is better for it. Which is why if you are going to go see any movie this summer in theaters, I highly recommend you see The Bike Riders. Anyways, thanks for being here. I appreciate you and I'll catch ya at the next one.